YouTube, baby can be back, and uh, just a short update on my situation and a uh, few pickups. Uh, first and foremost, thank you for uh, everybody's continued support with the uh, understanding of the whole homework thing. Uh, I was about two, two and a half weeks behind in two different classes a piece. Uh, I've got it narrowed down to about a week behind now, so uh, next uh, Thursday is my goal for having completely everything done. So I feel like I've been working pretty hard, so I'm taking a little YouTube video making break. This will be my second flea market pickup video. I purposely held these two for this week just in case it was crappy weather and I wouldn't get to go to the flea market. And good thing I did because uh, I found some decent games. I'm going to say right off the bat, uh, I am not a big Sega fan, but sometimes you can make a believer out of somebody who isn't. Uh, these are uh, a few different games I usually don't see and I thought about it a week before and I didn't pick them up so I went ahead and picked them up this week, but I think they're interesting. Uh, first and foremost, I have a uh, Rarity 2 Sega RPG, uh, $20 looser complete, Then it is Fantasy Star 2. I didn't have much interest in this game until I seen uh, Protaku 82 do a walkthrough of it, and it kind of piqued my interest a little. It is not complete. It does have the game, decent shape. It has the regular manual, but it does not have the, uh, the six... What is it? Six mega memory, massive hint book. Uh, that does. I did a little more research. It does take the rarity of it down a little bit. But because of that, it's only worth about ten dollars right now, and it's it's form and shape. Uh, I I've kind of been comparing prices online with it, and uh, that book makes a big difference. But uh, I still I paid five dollars for it, so it's still a pretty good deal. Um, the second game I I rarely see, and I did a little research on it, and apparently it's up there on the rarity list a little bit. Uh, same deal with the, the book. It didn't come, this one doesn't have regular instructions, and it didn't come with the Mega Hint book, so its rarity um, price is taken down a notch. But uh, Sword of Vermilion, another RPG-ish type game. It only, uh, like I said, has the card. The card's in almost pristine condition, but unfortunately there's no book or... Adventure book, like I said, so I only paid five dollars for this one too, and um, looks pretty interesting. Haven't played either one of those games, but I try and play play them soon. Um, I guess someday I'm just gonna have to get the books to complete them. Like I said, I'm not a big Sega fan, but you know, there, there's there's a few more games I keep looking at that I want to try and find, and those were actually two of them. So kind of neat. Only spending ten dollars on them, and or I'm sorry, yeah, spending ten dollars and. I've got about twenty dollars worth of games right there. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time, and hopefully get that homework done soon, and I'll post more.